welcome back to the channel. My name's Mike, the channel is Mike Fixed It, and it has been absolutely glorious here in Eastern Pennsylvania. We are having this fantastic heat wave. It's November, and I just can't resist putting the top down on my 2019 Mustang GT convertible. Now, in that spirit, I've also been re-embracing my love for photography. In my last video, I mounted a similar setup to the back of the Mustang, and I got some favorable comments. It gave a very cool perspective from behind the car. It almost looked like the car was floating. That was using my GoPro, and that was using the same mounting rig. So let me show you this mounting rig a little bit more close up. First, the Delkin Fat Gecko triple mount. Uh, this is a three suction cup device, and you can kind of set the angle and you know really lock in these industrial suction cups to either the front of the car, the back of the car, the side of the car, the windshield, anywhere where you have a relatively flat, smooth surface, this thing will lock on and really hold tight. The next item in my kit that is new is this gimbal extension pole. Now this is nothing more than a carbon fiber pole with aluminum caps. There's a uh, tripod mount, a quarter 20 male there, a quarter 20 socket down at the bottom. Um, and what this does is it attaches onto the mount and you can use this as a handle or you can uh, attach this pretty much anywhere you want to. And it's very robust and it's extremely light. So the nice thing about this is if you mount a camera here to the top, um, because this is so light, it doesn't add to the mass and it doesn't add to the vibration. So this is what the uh, mount looks like all assembled and it probably sits, oh, almost two feet high. So let's set that aside. And the last thing I want to show you is my Insta360 One X camera. Where'd it go? Oh, that's the problem with these things. They are so small, you could lose them. Well, here's the camera. This is the Insta360 One X. It is a 360 degree camera that can shoot video, it can shoot stills. There's a camera on both sides. Each lens takes a 180 degree um, photo or video and then the software stitches the uh, two files together so when you get back and you view the files either on your phone or on the computer the software will stitch it together and you can pan and tilt and zoom anywhere through space and it's absolutely amazing and so much fun So that's the rig. We just stuck this like a rhinoceros horn onto the front of the Mustang. And here's the results. Let me know in the comments what you think. Well, we could not have picked a nicer night for a cruise. Like I said, it's November and it's probably 75 degrees Fahrenheit out. Absolutely beautiful. heading down to Lake Galena and with any luck I hope to get there right as the sun is setting over the water. Now from time to time you're going to see the mount stuck on the front of the car. You can crop in like I've done here, but there's times that I just let it be there. 
It's okay, you get the idea. One of the cool things about the Insta360 ONE X is if you use it with the selfie stick, it's an extendable stick, it knows to invisible out that stick so you can hold it and it looks like a drone is following you. You don't even see the mount. But in this case with the Delkin Gecko, it's big enough that it can't cancel that out. Now it looks like I'm not the only one with the idea to come down to the lake. switch off the camera and go handheld for a little bit. I'm using the extension stick with the Insta360 ONE X. Now as I mentioned earlier the Insta has an extendable selfie stick which lets you get even more height. Right now this is probably 14 inches of extension stick and I think that the uh, the selfie stick goes to almost three feet. You can get some fantastic simulated drone shots using this camera. Now I just realized that the sun's about to go down so I am going to take off the mount and switch on the iPhone. See what I get. So we're back on the Insta and I'm going to show you an effect that's a novelty effect but I think it's a ton of fun. It's called Tiny Planet and you really get an idea of how much 360 data this camera can capture. Crazy, huh? Let's widen back out to reality. You can also use the software in the camera to track an object. I happen to see a Mustang over here parked in the grass. And we're gonna do a little tracking shot on the car. Yeah, that worked out pretty nice. This gives you an idea of just some of the different perspectives. It's like you have a cameraman sitting on the hood. Can you guess how fast I'm going here? Spoiler alert, I am not breaking the speed limit. This is what it looks like when you use an extreme wide angle lens. So there you have it. I've had a chance to look at the video footage and frankly, it came out fantastic. I had such a good time going for that drive. And if I haven't said it before, I'll say it again. You should get a Mustang convertible. Thanks very much for watching. Leave your comments, leave your questions about photography, about the car, about anything you like. I would love to hear from you. My name's Mike. The channel is Mike Fixed It. Thank you for watching. Be good, be well, be safe, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye-bye. I fixed it.